You're running the secondary break with C.L. Brown after North Carolina's 77-69 loss to NC State. Now, at this point of the year, you've been following the secondary break, hopefully, long enough. If you are new, welcome here. But I've been saying the same thing basically since the beginning of the season. This team has felt like, or at least appeared to feel like, they would be able to turn it on when they needed to, to kind of correct their mistakes, to correct the way that they were playing and win games that they absolutely had to have. This one was in that category today, and they were right there with six minutes left. The game was tied at 60, but Carolina failed to execute down the stretch. It kind of reminded me of the Duke game where offensively they just went cold. They didn't get good shots. They didn't take good shots. They didn't seem to be deliberate enough to get in those situations. And the final three minutes, 57 seconds against Duke, they went scoreless. They didn't go scoreless here, but they allowed NC State to go on a 9 nothing run with that game tied at 60, and they never led again. So it's, it's one of those things where at this point, that's who this team is. The only question now is, will they get hot enough? Can they turn on that little streakiness that they have in order to win some manageable games in these last four um, and maybe pull out a quad one win against Virginia or Duke. That will be the question so that Carolina won't be the first preseason number one team since the tournament expanded in 1985 to go from number one to not mention at all. That'll do it for the secondary break. Please click back again here on Wednesday when the Tar Heels travel to Notre Dame.